And we are back. Oh, I was expecting you to give me the finger, Charlie. Mm -hmm. This is radio. Mm -hmm. You give people the finger. This is something you don't need to know about because you're not in radio. The finger Mm -hmm. means something different. But enough about me. I'm filling in for Mm -hmm. Andy Parks, live from the Washington Times, 7.30 a.m., 102.9 FM, WTNT. And another regular on our show, Catherine Timpf, with Times 24-7, joins us. And I said, what do you got for us today? And she said... Let's just talk. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. Let's just talk. Have you heard about the the militant who died choking on fumes from an American flag that he was that they were burning? Get out of here. Yeah, no, isn't it? This is just the feel good story of the day, <laughs> <laughs> if I may say where, so. Where was they're this? gonna find out who I am, and where? I'm gonna be targeted where? now. Um, uh, in Pakistan, there was a participant. Uh, the, like when they were all burning flags and mm-hmm. blah blah blah, death to people like me and all that kind right. of stuff. And this guy said, I don't feel well from all this smoke from the flags burning. And he actually died. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, but he's a jihadist. You oh, know yeah. what that means? 72 yeah. virgins coming Yeah, up. he's probably pretty pumped. But, you know, it's going to yeah, be a bummer right. one. Like, wait, what? Well, dying in the course of Allah. You know, that's um, that's part of the creed. Yeah, but uh, I guess. But does it kind of burning smoke inhalation a flag? Counts, it's right. smoke inhalation yeah. seems kind of like the cheap shot yeah, when will, people I will, are... T- I will have to re- review my copy of Reliance of the Traveler. And I don't know. Maybe you get life. half the virgins okay. if you actually, <laughs> yeah. you know, strap a bomb to yourself. Yeah, maybe some of them don't have to be virgins. Right, anyway. right. Yeah, I'm not familiar, but I can think of some ways that might work out. Um, and actually, this is interesting. We have a story from... A flashback from February 2008 where military leaders were reacting, saying that President Obama doesn't really seem to understand the threat of radical Islam. So it's, it's interesting because everything he was saying back in 2008 was, oh, my half sister's Muslim. Right. Oh, I, I'm a cool guy, so it'll be OK. You know, they don't care whether or not you're a cool guy. Right. So now it's um, not quite four years later. And mm-hmm. what you have is a complete reversal. Now it's military guys who don't understand the threat of Islam. Whether mm-hmm. you're talking about Martin Dempsey or mm-hmm. or any of the field commanders who are looking at the green on blue violence in Afghanistan. Say, it's got nothing to do with ideology. These guys. I, wasn't it Dempsey who said, well, you know, it's very hot there. And they just got uh, done with, with the Ramadan. Ramadan. So they're, they're, they're a little hungry, hungry, so they're right. upset. Yeah, it's, it's low, like, low blood sugar. I've been hungry. I've been upset. I've watched YouTube videos I didn't like. All of these <laughs> things have happened yeah. in my life. Hey. Maybe to, probably today, actually. I'm a little hungry. Grouchy. But I'm not going to kill anybody today. No. Yeah, well, that's you and me. That's not them. Right, and there's a, that's why, you know, I don't know. Uh, you, you can't make rational excu- excuses. Any, people who try to do that, I think there's something wrong with them, too. Well, the, the problem with that, of course, is trying to apply uh, reason to right. uh, a religion that is essentially working because it believes it is the uncreated word of God. Right. So you don't argue with that. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, another story we have is there's sampling errors that have been seen skewing polls in favor of Obama. I'm stunned. I know. Well, the, what they're specifically doing is most polls are using a model that tries to mimic the voter turnout from 2008 mm-hmm. when d- the Democrats beat Republicans in terms of turnout by seven points. Everyone right. was all pumped up. They're not pumped up like that anymore. The youth vote's not. A lot of black pastors are coming out and telling congregations stay home on Election Day. Mm-hmm. It's another story that we have out right now. It's delusional if they think they're going to have the same turnout as they did in 2008. Well, they're going to have to fall back on that constituency that always shows up, and I'm talking about the dead. Right. Those, those Animals, folks. pets. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah. And, of course, you know, vote as many times as, as you As many times can. as you want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just like you're voting for a Gerber baby. This is why voter ID is a bad idea, because you only it's get one. It's right. All right. Um, also, FCC is threatening $16,000 fines for robocalls to iPhones and Androids from political campaigns. I'm for that. I'm for that, I'm too. For, I'm absolutely uh, on board with that. 20000 right. I don't care because I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with that. They're, they're justifying it saying, you know, people don't want to pay to receive the, the call or the text. But, I mean, I get, I get offered a free cruise every day on my phone usually. Well, just, just imagine how our political environment and landscape would change. Oh my if goodness. you couldn't receive robocalls on either your home phone or your cell phone, but because mm-hmm. it's essentially nonprofit, right. they allow you to do that as mm-hmm. if it's not solicitation, right? Right, 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 absolutely. All right, all right. So, did we have we finished talking? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, we have we've plenty more things. We have an interesting. Uh, well, give vid- me one more thing. We have a video this. that actually spoofs the Saturday. Night, it's on, from Saturday Night Live. It mm-hmm. spoofs the video. That's the Mitt Killed My Wife video, and it's a spoof oh. of that. And then Saturday Night Live actually did something kind of funny for once. So. You've seen it, right, Charlie? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, you should definitely, everyone should just go check that out for sure. That so. that video in itself was funny, not haha, but funny, pathetic. It was like, I know, I laughed. Yeah. I was like, are you serious right yeah. now? This is the best you can do, really? Right. 
Cool. All right. Well, good stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what? I like this idea of us just talking. <laughs> keep in touch. Plenty going on. We'll be back with Ed Kelly right after this.